Today I'm going to talk about the problems I had replacing a bearing in a microheli uh, blade grip and it's mostly photographs and not complete. Uh, it was a work in progress so bear with me on some photos aren't really addressing what I'm talking about but they're all the pictures I have. My heli started flying pretty poorly and started doing some shaking and on further inspection I realized I had a broken bearing in one of the blade grips. When I disassembled the grips the bearing, damaged bearings actually fell out of the uh, grip and so I knew that that bearing was bad. And then I placed the shaft back through the other bearing that was on the inside and spun it to notice that it was real rough and it probably needed replacing too. So I ended up needing to replace uh, both sides of the, or both bearings. Now the first problem I ran into is when the bearings came out, I could not get the remaining race uh, unstuck out of the grip. And no matter what I did, I tried uh, prying it out with a screwdriver, with a, trying to get in there with a needle. Uh, I used a drill to by hand uh, to try to grab it and twist it out. No matter what I did, I could not figure out a way to get that unstuck out of that grip. I checked the web. Some people said on bearings to cool them in the freezer for a while, and uh, some said use some heat. I tried uh, several different methods, but nothing worked. I eventually decided to put the grip in a vise so that I could use some heavier tools to try to pop that race out of there. I placed the uh, blade back on the grip so that when I tightened the vise down that it would not uh, pinch and uh, close up the gap uh, on the grip. So be uh, careful not to, to bend it all up if you uh, attempt this. So again, after trying several different tools, I finally came upon a little tool in my Dremel kit and it ended up being the exact perfect size to fit inside the race and it was just scratchy enough or had edges enough to be able to pop that race out of there. Uh, I don't have a picture of the race when I popped it out it popped across the room so but this is a handy little tool that I was able to find. You may be able to buy something like this or you may have another tool that actually works to get it out, but this ended up uh, grabbing it and, and popping it out. So that left me with just the other bearing to get out, but unfortunately my handy little Dremel tool bit would just barely fit into the gap and I could not maneuver that bit to be able to get anywhere in the race. Again, the picture shown here doesn't show actual, but it was the same situation where it would fit right into the race but it just, I just could not bend it without bending the grip itself. I searched for tools. Uh, I was back to square one. How do I get that out of there? So eventually I couldn't find any other way to do it, so I had to take a radical approach to getting that bearing out of there. So I decided to cut the bearing race uh, at a point so that it would be able to collapse and come out of there and by cutting a slot in the back side with a file, I would be able to accomplish that. And the bearings would still fit snugly on both sides, uh, even with that slot that was cut into the grip itself. So I proceeded to file carefully and make sure I didn't scratch or do any other damage to the grip and slowly cut that slot in there until the bearing itself was cut and had a nice gap in it. Unfortunately, after I did that, the bearing race still wouldn't come out. I couldn't believe it. It was like, is it glued in there? Is it, you know, welded in there? I, you know, so I had to decide what to do. I had to do something. So I ended up taking another radical approach. I then proceeded to the other side of the grip and started filing it down so that I could actually cut the race in half so there would be no way that it could stay in there. To my amazement, it still stayed in there. Now I had two halves of the race on that back side. Of course, I was crazy frustrated. 
they never did come out of it. No matter what I did, screwdrivers in there trying to pick it out, I could not get those two halves out of that grip. In the end, I ended up buying new grips. If any of you find a way to get those out of there when they're locked in that tight, feel free to comment on this video. I had half of it success, the other half a failure, and take uh, from this what you will, and I appreciate you watching.